Good afternoon, teachers. Today we're going to be looking at a universal design for learning checkpoint 2.3, which is support decoding text, mathematical notation, and symbols. Today we're going to be focused a lot more on the decoding text piece of it, specifically the use of text-to-speech and reading, and allowing a lot of flexibility in teaching this. The site that we're looking right now, or at right now, is Starfall. Starfall is a great site for learning um, how to read, specifically with preschool all the way up to second grade. Today we're going to be taking a look at levels one through two that ABCs and learn to read. The It's fun to read and I'm reading levels have a lot of more in-depth reading and some games that you can play but not quite as many so that's why we're going to focus on those first two. So right now we're taking a look at that ABC web page right here. So this web page has a few pages or a few nice features. We'll look at them all. So what we have here is all of the alphabet with pronunciations and associated words. Another great thing is down here we have all of the vowels being accented because those are definitely really important things to know along with silent e's and also we have the sign language signs for every single one of those letters of the alphabet. The first thing we're going to do is we're just going to take a look at one. We're going to look at um, A. So just watch this animation for a second here. So what that did is it associated ant and A together with giving you those letters the big A in a bigger voice and the little A in a little voice just to distinguish between the two of them. As we press on that little arrow in the corner, you're also going to hear that A ah sound brought forth. And then the next one is going to be a picture that they can associate with the letter A. So they can see here that A, ah, A, is an apple, something that they've all heard before and most likely know the word of. What we're looking at right now is that sign language feature. We're going to start with A. It goes to the entire alphabet. We're just going to continue on our A theme. The first thing it does is give you A. Next thing is pronounce it while showing you the symbol for sign language. Right now you're looking at that second learn to read um, level, which is level two. There's different sets that you do on level two. So for each one of them, you've got 1 through 15, you've got a game to play, a book to read, and some sort of skill to learn. That's either in the form of a special special sound like shh or ch, or a video explaining something about the alphabet. So right here, we're in the middle of one of those games. We The game started with A, T, make, at. So you've got that sound again being repeated, so those audio learners can really get it in their head. Now you've got the cat being shown for those visual learners, and you can see as we press the letters, as we're pressing those letters, they're saying those sounds so the kids can hear them and say, okay, k, cat, and then be able to draw that proper letter over and make the word. And again, each of those then is followed by a really simple book to read and then a video. The first one's about how the alphabet got its order. The other one is why we read from left to right. Now we're going to take a look at why this site is really good for differentiated learners. Stop all helps different learners in many different ways. So we've got that visual learner that's really being helped because the representation of the letters is brought through by pictures, words, and phrases, and they're able to really draw that connection between an A being an ant and an apple and be able to link that new knowledge to the knowledge that they already have in their heads. Audio learners are also able to really excel here because they have the ability to listen to anything that they want to on the site, whether it be the text or the reading. Learning disability students are really able to help be helped here because they're able to learn those signs for the different letters and their classmates are able to learn them as well. Um, people with different learning paces are also greatly aided here because Starfall is great because people can be working on their alphabet while other people are working all the way up to level four and all the kids are constantly challenged. Starfall has its drawbacks though because kinesthetic learners are not able to work at their highest level because it doesn't 
provide this hands-on experience that they really need. Thank you.